Welcome to this lecture. This is lecture number 15 and in this lecture we will see how to calculate small signal output resistance. So we have looked at the uh, procedure to evaluate the same. Uh, so the procedure is first we have to nullify the effect of all the sources independent sources in the circuit. Once it is done you can apply a test voltage with a current I test and you can evaluate directly what is V test by I test. One thing to notice if there is a load resistance which is coming in parallel to the parallel to the the test voltage what we are applying you can keep rl aside and evaluate v test by i test as r out dash and consider the final r out as the r out dash in parallel to the load resistance so with that uh, we looked at uh, examples of single mosfet with lambda zero and lambda not equal to zero and we understood how to calculate the output resistance now in this lecture we will see few more examples and the very uh, important one is mm, you have a diode you have a mosfet uh, with uh, gate and drain shorter together. This is gate, this is drain and source. And this structure we call it as diode connected structure because since gate and drain are shorter together, it is uh, now only two terminals are there for the MOSFET. So we will see how to find the output resistance between the terminals A and B. Right. So uh, to do that, we will follow the same procedure MOSFET equivalent circuit I'll draw. So uh, first let me consider with lambda equal to zero. So in that case, this is your source terminal gate and drain terminal with this as VGS and this as GM VGS. This is the equivalent of MOSFET. Now uh, we are interested to find the voltage between, sorry, the output resistance between uh, drain and drain and uh, drain and source. So I'll just modify drain and gate are shorted together. Now you are uh, we are asked to find the resistance between these two terminals. The first step is if there is if there are independent sources you have to short it. Since there are no independent sources, you know we don't need to do anything. Now we have to apply the test voltage between the points of interest. Say this is V test and this is i test right now uh, from the circuit we can see that v test is the voltage applied to the drain with respect to source since drain and gate are shorted uh, v test is same as vgs that you can clearly see from the diagram itself since v test is same as vgs what is i test i test is the current there is no current flowing towards the gate uh, from the gate so the current is only one current which is gm vgs so since vgs is v test your current is gm into v test or v test by i test which is r out in this case equal to 1 by gm right so for a diode connected structure uh, the impedance the output resistance between the terminals a and b is always 1 by gm Right, so this is uh, true. Uh, so this is diode connected structure and when your lambda is equal to 0, R out is 1 by gm. So let us try with lambda not equal to 0. The same diode connected structure. The only difference is we are considering lambda not equal to 0. So what will happen? You can see that here. If lambda is not equal to 0, in the equivalent circuit, you will have one more additional component. What will be that additional component? I will just modify here. Uh, in the equivalent circuit you will have one additional thing which is nothing but r naught so uh, we already calculated what is v test by i test which is one which is one by gm now this r naught is coming in parallel to that so the r out can be written as one by gm parallel to r naught you can do the calculation again by redrawing uh, anyway i have done that over here right so it is one by gm parallel to r naught so that is for this diode connected structure. Let me look at a few more examples. Uh, say uh, one case I'll take. You have a MOSFET. And at source, there is one resistance connected. Say I call this as RS. Uh, then there is a DC voltage connected to the gate. And you are asked to find the output resistance from drain. Looking from drain, what is the output resistance? That is something we need to find. Now uh, let us uh, assume even lambda not equal. We will include all the uh, the channeling modulation also. So first, I'll start by just writing uh, uh, 
writing the small signal model of MOSFET with R0. So this is GM VGS. This is VGS. Uh, this is source, gate, and drain terminal. This is the equivalent of MOSFET. Now I will modify this equivalent circuit with the existing components. Now I can see that to the source I have added an additional resistance which is RS. Now to gate uh, I need to connect V bias but we know that uh, to, to find output resistance we can uh, nullify the effect of V bias that means V bias or gate should be connected to ground and at drain you can connect a test voltage which is V test and the current is I test. So this is a setup. Now uh, we are interested to find what is this uh, R out which is V test by I test. So to start with what I will do first is I will define. Uh, so anyway this GMVGS current source will come into picture. So first let me define what is VGS. VGS is VG minus VS. But Vg is 0 minus what is Vs? Vs is the current flowing through the drop across Rs. So what is the current flowing through Rs? It is I test. So it is I test into Rs. That is your Vs. Right. So I can write Vgs as minus I test into Rs. That is Vgs. Now with that uh, let me write a KCL that is uh, let me write what is this I test. Now I want to find what is V test by I test. So I will just write an equation for I test. What is I test? I test is actually uh, the current flowing here and the current flowing here. Right. So what is the current flowing through this path? It is GM VGS plus what is the current flowing through R naught? This node voltage is V test minus this node voltage is Vs divided by R naught will be the current. So it is V test minus Vs divided by R0 or I can write this as Gm into what is Vgs? Vgs is minus I test into Rs. So I test into Rs minus plus again V test minus uh, Vs is I test into Rs divided by R0. Right. Now if I bring all the terms of I test together so I can write I test as 1 plus GMRS plus RS by R0 is equal to V test by R0. Or if I write V test by I test that will give the output resistance of the circuit R out which is equal to uh, I will multiply R0 to this side. So it is R0 plus RS plus GMR0 into rs right this is a very important result now if i look at this result further i can just uh, modify or approximate this result just if i am taking r not common from this equation i can write it as 1 plus gm rs plus rs right and here i can do an approximation uh, if this one gm rs is a large quantity say uh, for example your gm rs is 10 so 10 is large compared to 1 so this can be approximated as GMRS itself plus RS. Again if I take RS common from this I can write it as 1 plus GMR0. Here also I can do the same approximation because intrinsic gain of a MOSFET GMR0 is uh, larger. At least it will have some value close to 10 or more than 10. This also can be uh, approximated as GMR0 into RS. This is just for understanding. So the inference from this is so we have looked at two cases. Uh, this is with lambda not equal to zero, and the second case is you have a resistance connected at source. Say both are same except for a resistance connected at source, lambda not equal to zero. For this case, I know that R out looking from here is nothing but R out, R not of the uh, MOSFET. Now, here uh, looking from here, here the R out is equal to R not plus rs plus gmr not rs or it can be approximated as gmr not rs so what is the meaning so if you have a mosfet whose source is grounded looking from drain the resistance is r not itself right but now 
uh, if a resistance is kept at the source of a MOSFET. Now, looking from here, so if I uh, see from this point, the resistance is only RS, but the same resistance, if I look from the drain of the MOSFET, the resistance value is magnified by intrinsic gain of this MOSFET itself. We can see that from here it is RS, but the same resistance, if I look from drain, it is RS uh, amplified by GMR0 or RS is magnified by GMR0 approximately. The exact expression is this R0 plus RS plus GMR0 RS, but still your R0 value is GMR0 into RS. Right. So this is a very important result and we will use this result many, uh, in future also. So this is very important. You can uh, have a look at this and you can just have a clarity on this. Right. So uh, I am just leaving one question for you uh, to try out after watching this lecture. So I have two MOSFETs, both are connected to some bias potential, say V bias one and this is V bias two. Assume this as M1, this as M2. Consider both transistors have lambda and you are requested to find what is this R out. So you can try out, you first understand uh, the way, the method by which we have done. So the very important thing is you should understand the procedure. You can follow the procedure and arrive at the expression. So thank you for watching. Uh, please try out the question what is given at the end. Thank you.